Anu, welcome to the Fitchair family. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, We're going to get excited. you fully in shape, eh? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so I've got a couple of questions, you know, like about your lifestyle, about sort of how you work, what you like, what you don't like. So tell me about, what does your last two weeks look like? What okay. have you been eating? What are your habits the, like? The last two weeks have been pretty good, actually. Well, well, the first week was sort of tough because my girlfriend was staying over at my place. I was cooking, we were having a good time. And then when she left, I went back to basics. Ah. It's been chicken breast, it's been broccoli. Um, the weeks are usually good, but the weekends are the problem. I think most people, when, they, when they're sort of trying to stay in shape, the week is fine. I you, think everyone has that cycle. Monday's a Monday start of well. Yeah, Friday's, up until Friday. Friday, yeah. you've had six pizzas, you, you're drinking, you're doing all of that. So the, so the weekends haven't been great, yeah, but no. the weeks have been good. I think yeah. you're just normal. That's basically yeah, yeah, yeah. you are standard, normal, normal issue human being. Yes, basically. yes, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. What do you like? What are your favorite foods? My my favorite foods usually I love Italian so so pizza stuff, pasta stuff, anything very starchy. Ah. Um, but I must say I enjoy the basics as well. I, you know they always people always say when you're on a diet it's chicken breast and broccoli. Yes. I like chicken breast and broccoli. Actually. You can do it for a while. I could do it for a while, but it gets quite boring. So so for me I like variety. That's yeah. that's what I'm looking for in food most okay. of the time. Yeah. What about sort of a colorful food? Like at the moment, do you eat like a wide range of colorful foods, types of foods, variations, diversity? Yeah. I, like I said, pasta thing. So anything that, that sort of involves a, a maybe a pasta, pasta or or maybe just like couscous or something like that. I like sort of Mediterranean things as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hearing like a little lack of vegetables there. I'm, I'm not the hearing vegetables, peppers. I'm not I'm, hearing. I'm, I, I usually add a bit of vegetables, but it would be maybe just a salad. You know, okay. A salad with a bit of peppers, a bit of cucumber. Okay. Yeah. So that's the old fashioned. I'm getting a bit of sly thrown in there. Exactly. And yeah. Tomato. Yeah. yeah. Just like you, you come to a bra, you've got all your meat, and then there's just one little salad. Okay. In the okay. corner, maybe you, you grab that. Yeah. So if we introduce you to like lentils and chickpeas and beans, I'll take that. How's I'll your body going to react? So so I actually um, a couple of months back I tried being vegan for for, ah, okay. for quite a bit of time, um, and then it was most it was lentils, okay. it was chickpeas, it was all those kind of things. So so I'm used to that and I like that. Um, but since going back to sort of a, a normal diet, it's been more a mix of meat okay. and 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 um, maybe sweet potato and and butternut and things like that. Okay. So okay, I, th I think we're. Chef, as you know, we're a, we're a, we're a, a whole food based company. Yes, yes, yes. I really believe that real food makes all the difference. Yes. A real food and avoiding additives, avoiding artificial sugars and artificial junk in your diet makes yeah. all the difference. Okay. People generally sort of focus on just like what does my calories look like? What protein am I getting? Yes. But it's more than that. Our bodies are chemical machines, basically. Yes. Our, our brain is linked to our body by using chemicals and, and it releases your, your hormones and your, your neurochemicals to affect everything in your body. Yes. So eating is about affecting those neurochemicals mm. and what's going in your body, not just the actual protein. Yeah, what, what actually the makes up the calories. That's yeah, it. Yeah. So what we need to do is like we find diversity is one of the most essential things. So having a lot of meals, a lot of ingredients, a lot of, a lot of really good whole food, old-fashioned made things where you're getting real food and nutrient dense food into your yes. diet so that's for chef okay no junk and sort of all 100 percent goodness so what you're going to get you're going to find sort of in your kits we're going to build in sort of some awesome meals now we've got two ranges two main ranges we've got our our eat clean range which is our strict range yes this is, this is our strict no additives no junk absolutely low, low calories as well a, a low calories sort of like reasonable calories yeah so uh, the focus isn't always low calories but it's about nutrient density basically and okay. and food sort of enjoyability if that's an actual yes. word so what you're going to get is a, is a stack of meals sort of in your kits probably about 26, 28 different types of meals. Oh, there's, wow. there's going to be no boredom whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. And you're probably going to, you're going to eat from every single food group there actually So it's is. not just chicken breast and broccoli. You know, <laughs> okay. I mean, the chicken breast and broccoli diet, as we know, does work. And I think, you know, as we were speaking about beforehand, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. how long can you last? Yeah, you, can, you can do it for about two weeks, but then, so then you lost your five kgs, yeah. but then the next weekend you binge, you just eat all of that and, back in. And yeah. I think that's that's the balance of life. As soon as you go into a, into a strict, hardcore regime, yeah. you're going to have a, have a crazy, crazy exactly, weak direction yeah, basically yeah. it's like sort of having a car you're sort of going out of control you skip the one way you're gonna to have to skip the other way to get Just the car back into correct, control again yeah. and correct basically yeah. then we've also got things like juices and things like that juices and smoothies okay now i mean juices i'm not a huge fan of sort of juices all the time i mean juices are really a treat yeah and i think but we've got to have those treats i think you know as you're saying moderation is one of the best diets possible yeah. So we're going to give you a range of, of really, really good juices, but they, but they are treats. Obviously, they, they said all higher in sugar. There's no added sugar, obviously. It's yes. all the natural sugars. Then we've got our smoothie range. So this is all just 
basically taking vitamin, I mean vitamins, um, your, your um, vegetables and your fruit and all kinds of things, blending them sort of in a blender, and you're basically just drinking what you would normally eat yes. anyway, just far more convenient. Um, it's really, really important, as I said, you know, to build in a mix of treats, moderation, yes. some fun actually into the diet, and one of the, one of the key aspects and, and the findings that sort of scientifically nowadays is that if you're eating a strict diet, if you had just little cheats here and there, mm. uh, you know, even if it's every three days or, or, or the end of the week or whatever, how, how long you can last, and also where you are stress-wise, and if you've slept well, yeah. you might just crave something. Rather have it and get back on the wagon and actually yeah. eat well. It's easier to stick to your diet. Yeah, far easier. Yeah. And this is why we've actually got things like our, our chocolate ice cream. So this is a really excellent chocolate so, ice cream. I just, to, I just had this. I just <laughs> had this before the interview, and it is amazing. It really is amazing. I mean, and this is just like simple whole food products, sweetened with honey, because obviously like you've got to have some sweetness in there. Yes. Honey is a sugar still, but I mean, you know, like it's still healthier, got way yeah. more sort of health benefits yes. sort of all your bioactive like like plant compounds in there. Yes. The brownie. Now the brownie will save your life basically. This brownie is just just literally an almond brownie, almond almond honey, um, a little bit of coconut sugar in here as well, just to give it that that, that awesome maltiness. Yes. Um, but a fantastic sort of stuff there. Things like a maize ball. So just little simple things. Um, <laughs> I'm one of the guys who believe that 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 peanut butter could solve almost any problem. Pretty much. Um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, this is this is a peanut butter cranberry sort of crunchy sort of thing. You just chuck in your mouth, and you've got something that's a real whole food. So what you're saying this this is not going to be a diet. This is yeah. actually going to be the best food I've had in my life. It's going to be a lifestyle. Because okay. actually, if we focus on diets, and that's a super good point, if we focus on dieting, all you're going to do is go hardcore, and then you're going to recorrect to the, yeah. the old diet. It's not sustainable. Yeah. I've got to build like a long, long-term, like 10-year, 10 10-year 10 mindset for you. Yes. So that like, sort of, what do I eat on an ongoing basis? What can I do for 10 years? And yes. I think if we can solve that, what can you do for 10 years? How can you eat for 10 years? How can you be consistent? And yeah. how can you love what you eat? You're going to solve all the problems. Okay. So this is going to be looking, fantastic. So you're on a journey. Forward, yeah. um, we've also got, just to give you one thing here. So, so you know, when you're on the road, obviously, and uh, you've got some really, really busy days, you, you your acting career and you're out there this is the meal and the ghost smoothie the MOTG yes so this is basically got, a, got 20 grams of, of protein in it um, oats banana some fruits you just chuck one of these down and whenever you're busy you just throw it down so Sorry. there's also so convenience what I'm talking about here is convenience I think that's convenience. The, that's a big thing is you know when you when you're on a diet or whatever just making the food takes so much time with this yeah. you just pop it into the microwave you just get it quick cool man yeah. and that's basically it now tell me about the next three months of your life? How busy are you going to be? What is your routine going to look like? So there, there's a lot of things happening at the moment. So I'm out and about the whole time traveling quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and also with that is a lot of changes that needs to happen with my body because I'm playing a character now where I'm like, need to be sort of scrawny, a bit skinny, and then need to bulk up again okay. and, and, and look good without, you know, with my shirt off. So um, for me, it, 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 it's going to be tough to sort of, with being busy, still stick to, you know, eating healthy stuff, working out, all of that. And, and, okay. and I mean, that's going to make it a lot easier. So I think convenience yeah. is going to be, what I'm hearing there yeah. is really convenience yeah. is going to be an absolutely essential part of your diet. Yes. And I think people forget about this very often is that convenience, if it's not convenient, you're not going to do you're it. You're not going to stick to you know, it. Yeah. And what happens is really, it's like sort of, if it's not convenient, you wait an extra three or four hours before you eat. By yes. the time you eat then, you know, you want to eat like 17 pizzas and, and like <laughs> yeah. five, five yeah. bar ones. Yeah. And that's what we want to stop is actually sort of give you things that, that form part of your, your natural routine. Yes. Where, where when you're hungry, if you can't do a whole meal, you can chuck down a meal on the go. When you're hungry, yeah. you can have a smoothie or two. You can have, have a decent snack. So when you eat, it's also reasonable eating. Yeah. It's controlled eating. It's, it's just sensible eating. It's like yeah. you're eating with a future in mind. So you want to enable your actual chemistry um, your mindset, your willpower, so yeah. that you eat things according to what's good for you, like for a long time. Awesome. Well, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Really. Cool. Yeah. After after showing all the products, I'm really excited to eat again. Cool. So what we're going to do then, I think, um, I'm pretty sure you love it, and as usual, just, just give us feedback the whole time. Yeah. Probably start you on on um, a lot more carbs initially. Okay. Just so you can start sort of bulking a bit, as you said before you go into the cutting, and I think that is essential, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll if get I you need, going. If I need it, yeah. If you need yeah. it, that is. <laughs> and we'll get you going, get your energy levels up there, get your focus up, and um, cool. then start a cut down. See how you respond. Um, I know you said you felt old, but you're not. <laughs> Earlier on, um, I'm pretty sure that you'll drop weight or drop fat. Yes, Let's talk about yes, fat yes. specifically and get your vascular pretty quickly. Cool. So we'll just sort of see how your body reacts and just keep on giving us feedback. Monitoring, yeah. Uh, we, we monitor, we change, we update. 
And I'm going to chuck in some extra things. We're going to have a couple of um, sourdough pizzas. We're going to have a couple of um, you know grass-fed burgers with a 60-hour fermented sourdough bun. This doesn't sound um, like a diet at all. It's going to be easy. It's yeah. going to be far easier than anything you've ever done. So. Okay. Looking awesome. forward to it. Great. Thanks. Thank you so much. Really appreciate yes. it. Cool.